So the first problem stated a used bookstore is having a sale on books and CDs to reduce inventory. The first week of their sale, they sold 40 books and CDs. They charged $4 per book and $6 per CD. And the first week of the sale, they made $180. Determine the number of books and CDs they sold. So to start this off, we have to pick our variables. So we have two variables. And I want to know what are the two things we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out how many books and CDs they sold. So the number of books they sold. And then why would be the number of CDs sold? And then we have to write our system. So we're thinking about books and CDs with 40 total. So the number of books sold and the number of CDs sold equaled 40 items. So I've used that piece of information. Then it's $4 per book and $6 per CD. And all together, it was $180. When we write these equations, you want the same labels on the numbers you're using. So we had dollars, dollars, and $180. So I know I have my two equations correct, and there's my system. So I've started by building the table. When you can see the first equation, x plus y equals 40, and what happened when I plugged in those x values my values dropped by 6 each time. And then the purple equation was the second equation, 4x plus 6y equals 180. And what I did is I solved for y. When you solve for y, you end up with the equation y equals 30 minus 2 thirds x. And I selected the x values that I did because I know they were multiples of 6, so you shouldn't have any fractions. And then I ended up with those corresponding y values. <clears throat> now, when we graph, we're looking for that point of intersection. I see in the table, my y's were both 10 when x is 30. So that should be my solution. And I want to see that graphically as well. That's where the graphs cross. And now if you look at my graph, I hope yours looks better than mine or neater than mine. But you can see I graphed those ordered pairs. I actually did my intercepts mostly. Um, and then I can see where they cross. I circled in orange is the point 30, 10. So when I think about my solution, my solution is, I'll use pen, 30, 10. And then what does that mean in context? So I did 30 of X, 10 Y. So they sold 30 books and 10 CDs. So put it back in context of what's happening in our problem. Now, how do you know the solution is correct? We talked about how you check and you check mathematically. So we have the point 30, 10. We have the equations x plus y equals 40. <coughs> 4x plus 6y equals 180. <clears throat> Take your ordered pair and plug it in. 30 plus 10 equals 40. Well, yeah. And then 4 times 30 plus 6 times 10 is that 180. 4 times 30 is 120. 6 times 10 is 60. And when I add them up, yes, it's 180. So you check mathematically to see if it makes both equations true. And then what method is more efficient, that is up to you. So you could choose a table or you could choose a graph. The choice is yours, but you have to explain why. So it needs to have because and say why. And it needs to be a thorough sentence answer explaining your processes. And the last problem talks about inequalities. In constructing a system. So we have two different lines there. We have the blue line. So I'm going to start with the solid blue line. I like to put them in slope intercept form. So it's y blank x blank. My intercept I see is at 3, so it's plus 3. And I think about how I'm moving. So I have two points selected. I go up one unit over 2. So 1 over 2. So it's 1 half x plus 3. We shaded beneath, 
so the y values are less than or equal to, and it's equal because it's that solid blue line. Then we also have our red equation. So y blank x plus blank, I see my intercepts all the way up at eight, and then how I'm moving, down two over one, down two over one, so it's just negative two, I shaded below the line, so I know it's less than, and because it is dotted, it's just less than. So right here is my system. The inequality signs matter, the slopes matter, everything is very important, and we have to think about where it is shaded so we know which inequality to use. Remember, we could pick that origin point that's shaded and plug it in. Zero, negative 2 times 0 plus 8. So 0 versus 8, it's less. That's how I know it's less than. Also, the shading is below or less than those y values. And last but not least, is 4, 0 a solution? So if we find that point, 4, 0, it's right here. It is on a line. It is a solution if that line is solid. It is not a solution if the line is dotted. So because it's a dotted line, it's no, and it's because dotted lines do not include those points in a solution. Those points as a solution. So because it's a dotted line, it's not a solution. So it's not a solution to the system. If that was a solid line, then our answer would have been different. But because of the dotted line, it's technically not included in that solution space. So make sure you understand the difference for inequalities.